Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're looking at the brand new PRS Sonzera 20 watt combo amplifier. Before I tell you all about this very cool new amp, take a second to subscribe below. So the Sonzera is a 20 watt combo all tube amplifier with two independent channels with independent controls for each one and then a global control of reverb and presence going into both of them. Tube-wise, the power tubes are two JJA 5881s. Preamp tubes, there's four JJA ECC 83Ss. The output transformer is a 19G01 OPT. Okay, that's all the nerddom we're going to get into. Why don't I start with the clean channel, which is sort of reminiscent of an American mid-60s tube amp. <laughs> Right now I'm playing, this is my old uh, PRS, I've, this is a 2008 Dave, David Grissom. I got brand new back in 2008. All stock, but heavy miles on this guitar. And um, you can see on that clean channel. Just really warm and, and everything kind of has a nice chime to it. There's controls are really simple. Bass and treble and volume. Again, with the universal reverb and presence. But with the uh, treble up a little bit, bass down a little bit, and the, the volume in the center, that's, we get, that's the neck, here's the bridge. give it a little more of a goose in that volume. Now, still totally clean, although the, the volume is almost up all the way, it's about three o'clock. This is, although it's 20 watts, you could definitely gig with this amp. You could, it would keep up with even a loud band. Um, super loud and of course you can get buried, but the cool thing is there's all these outputs of this for different speakers. As a matter of fact, there are five outputs. So if running uh, exterior, uh, extra cabinets is your thing, this has got you covered. However, the speaker that comes with it is a Celestian V-type 70 watt, and I think it sounds great. Celestians I usually think of as like a kind of an overdriven speaker, but man, they're great clean. Just a great dreamy tone. So that's the basic flavor of the clean channel. Now let's get into the dirt, which you can conveniently control with this proprietary pedal. So let's step on the dirt. Thank <laughs> you. 
So right now, the drive is at a pretty modest level. Level is right in the middle. Treble's up a bit, and mid is up, and bass is back. I found that some amps don't get particularly bassy. This has got bass for days. Uh, and I like that mid-range punch. But let's try it a little bit flatter and a little bit more dirt and see what that does. It's about halfway up. <laughs> Great, right? Get it really dirty. Man, it really comes alive, right? Over here, the other control is a bright switch. Let's go ahead and flip it. Nice, right? So the overdrive sounds great. You have everything from over the top, heavy gain, to a rather modest you know, distortion that kind of works in any, any genre. So I like the idea that you can plug a guitar straight into an amp and basically cover your clean or dirty. And then for your effects, there's an effects loop, a MOSFET driven effects loop that sounds great. I've got a Keeley Halo in it right now. <laughs> So your signal is just basically a guitar into an amp with a little bit of spice on top if you want it. Uh, other features on the back of the amp include a bias adjustment and a IEC. So it's kind of got the whole enchilada right there. Why don't we try some other pickups so you can hear what that sounds like. Right now I'm just playing my old David Grissom. Let's try something else. But this is my old uh, PRS SE1 that I've highly modified so you can hear what it sounds like with proper single coils. <laughs> Now, let's talk about this global reverb and presence. I'm running the reverb about halfway up. I find it's really kind of warm and subtle. Let's goose it up there a little bit more.
nice, right? Lastly, there's the global presence control. Right now I'm about halfway up, but I really like having this there because it gives you the option of just a little more sparkle when you need it. So good on you PRS. This is a combo that's easy to carry to any kind of situation. Not too loud, but loud enough to keep, on, keep up with a normal kind of rockin' band. Tons of great clean tones and dirty tones. I think it kind of ticks all the boxes. To read the full review, go to Premier Guitar. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, all that jazz. Subscribe to all that. Why not subscribe to the magazine? I know I do. This is John Bolger. Till next time. <laughs>